Okay, got my knife ready. There's something I want to show you down here. This could be one of two things, both either deeply psychoactive or totally delicious. Okay, YouTube, I'm very excited. It is the 1st of September. I was gonna say the last day of summer. It's the first day of autumn. I'm in a forest just outside of Berlin and we're going hunting. We're going on the very first mushroom hunting trip of the season. Um, there's a couple of things I'm expecting to find or hoping to find. One of them is sometimes referred to as gold of the forest or chanterelle or fifling but i don't know what we're going to find i know there's some freaking wild boars here come with me let's go mushroom hunting okay always a good start got something straight off the bat here let's have a little peep at this Okay, always an exciting start when you find something like this straight off the bat. This is a porcini, it's a sept, it's a penny bun, but I can feel it's got a very hollow stipe. Um, and it's a bit soggy, so if we cut this up, I'm expecting some, it's not gonna look very nice, I'm expecting some maggots. Let's have a look. Fucking mosquitoes biting me every second. All right, check this out. Yeah, so. How's the camera focusing? If you can see in there, there's these tiny, it's riddled with tiny, tiny maggots. However, this shows me that the king of all mushrooms is out already in this woods. I'm excited, let's keep looking. Okay, there's a bunch of these guys about from a family uh, known as the rustulas called the brittle gills. Some are edible, some are poisonous. There's one called the beechwood sickener, also with a red top. Um, you can nibble these actually. Um, if they're hot to the tongue, you should leave them alone. I don't rate these, man. They're really brittle by the name, the brittle gills. Um, but they kind of look really pretty in some mushrooming baskets. Some people love to eat them. Oh, there's puffballs down here as well. Check this. Help those guys out. And I think, I think I've seen something proper nasty in here. Let's go and have a look. Where were you? There it is, there, 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 there. Where, where were you, follow me? I might be wrong, I've no idea what it is, but let's have a look. Oh, oh could it be? I think it is. I think... I'm going to set the camera up. We'll dig this up and talk about it. I think we might have found Amanitophalloids, or phalloides, the death cap, the most poisonous mushroom on the planet. Right here. Let's check it out closer. I'll tell you a bit about it. Okay, let's have a look at this. Let's dig this up. This gives me the shivers just looking at it so okay if this was the death cap amanita phalloides then when i dug up the base this base should have come with a volval egg sac this doesn't have one it does however have a greenish hue um uh, on its cap it's got white gills it feels pretty damn solid i don't want to even be touching it anymore so i'm gonna lay it down here because uh, i'm not sure what that is quick bit of history it's said that the roman emperor claudius there's one of those mosquitoes you pig um who was poisoned was most likely poisoned by either poison on an end of a feather or by mushrooms. And it makes sense because one of the favorite mushrooms of that time is an Amanita, a mushroom of the same family as a death cap called Amanita Caesarea or Caesar's mushroom because Caesar loved to eat them. Um, so they may well have switched Caesar's mushroom for the death cap to kill Claudius and so put in 
the lovely Nero. Anyway, onwards. Let's try and find something nice. Okay, I found something. What's that? It's a cobweb. I found something super interesting down here. Check this out. So this, this could be one of two things. This, let's get my knife for it. Fucking hell, old mate. One handing it, just one handing YouTube. I want to keep this nonsense in or out. Okay, got my knife ready. There's something I want to show you down here. This could be one of two things. Both either deeply psychoactive or totally delicious. This guy here, let's dig it up and I'll show you. This is one of the Amanita family. You can tell by the um, this 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 bulb it's coming out of this this volval sac it's called and um, this could either be the panther cap or Amanita rubicens, the blusher. Now, when you are picking mushrooms for consumption, you should stay away from them really when they're young and they're small and just coming out of egg stage because all the features haven't properly developed. Um, but you can tell this mushroom is one or the other by, if you look at this here, I'll have to have a look, see if I can show you. This here, this ring, this skirt has striations on it. The, uh, like a, vertical stripes going down and um, also if we cut into its flesh i think it's gonna bruise a little bit pink now if it was the panther cap yes it is can you see that if it was the panther cap it would have a smooth ring and also wouldn't be blushing pink like this this is called the blusher it's totally delicious but it needs cooking because it's got compounds in it that can uh, proteins in it i think that can destroy red blood cells but they're rendered inactive by heat so a good find but in its egg stage not recommendable god my arms hurting one handing this <coughs> Okay, it's worth showing you this. Uh, I've literally, we, we began our foray just on this corner here. I've moved 20 meters. Um, there is a lot about, this is gonna be an amazing season. So if you like mushrooms, you like foraging, food, like, subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Insta, and let's keep looking, see what's out here. Wallet. I just could, literally can't take a step without finding something else interesting. I'll leave this guy, he's too small, but can you see this? This guy here is a brown birch belique growing with the birch trees. Totally delicious, but we'll come back to him and look another time. Alrighty. Let's see if we can find those chanterelles I was banging on about. Let's have a walk. I'm just going to have to force myself to ignore the mushrooms. They're so exciting, there's so much about. I'm going to have to force myself to ignore stuff until we find our, our quarry that we came for. So hard. Look at all this, man. Fucking stuff everywhere. Stunning. This is going to be an amazing season. Yes! Every now and then into the woods we go again. Be ready for the journey. <laughs> Look at the size of this guy down here. Look at the size of old me. My goodness. My goodness. Oh man, I've just found something awesome. I have just found something awesome. God, this is too good. This season's gonna be ridiculous. This, this, this is Belitus badius, the Bay Belit. Uh, totally delicious. It's, it's the slightly lesser brilliant cousin of the Sep or the Penny Bun. But it's completely delish delicious. They call it, um, what do they call it here? The chestnut mushroom, but in German. Anyway, wow, there really is stuff about. I need to start taking stuff home to cook. Marones, marones, that's what they call them, which is what they also call uh, chestnuts in Germany. 
do attempt to be at one with nature, but essentially we've got to admit sometimes it's a war. If you're not a fan of spiders, uh, September there's these <laughs> stripy leg spiders that have massive webs be between the trees and they're really chunky. And uh, yeah, let me I, I, I try, I try to like God's creatures, but I just, I, not in spiders. At least we're not in Australia where we got brown snakes and really poison spiders to worry about. So anyway, into the woods. Interesting, uh, actually check this out first, look. Early, Amanita muscaria, or the fly agaric, if you wanna know more about that mushroom. Check out the video I'll put on it at the end of the video. So really interesting, as a gambling man, which I am, I would have put, I'd have put a fair bit of money, don't tell the messes, on the fact that I was gonna find chanterelle today in the forest, but there is none about anywhere. Some amazing finds though, that is a great start to the season. I'm pretty buzzed as you can probably tell. Um, like, subscribe. See you next week, I'm gonna go pick the kids up from Kita. Daddy's day is done. Much love all, wallop. Bah. Okay, and just as I'm about to get in my car, this gentleman here, hello, <laughs> hello. has found what we were looking for, Fifalinga or the Chanterelle, really beautiful ones. Yeah. And he's told me that if I come back and we head up that way, I might find some. Um, they smell, the smell, they yeah. smell like apricots. Yeah. Like, beautiful. <laughs> Danke schön. Schönen Tag. Bitte gleich falsch. Tschüss. <laughs> so, well done, old mate. He also smelled like he had about 10 pints. So, clearly, he's winning and I'm picking the kids up. Like, subscribe. Let's do this next week.